to join me while I try to get this on my phone. Who is it? Who is it? No one's joined me yet. Oh my gosh, where are you guys? Join me. Somebody. Where are you? Where is my age? Someone, talk to me. I see some people. It is, am I saying it right, Leela? Am I saying it right? You were first last week and you're the first one today. Is it Leela? Hi, Casey. Hi, great one. How are you? Hi, Riley, my Riley, you guys are here. Hi, hi. What have you guys been doing since you've been home? What'd you have for dinner? I'm trying to join in and I'm having issues on my page. I wanna be able to see everybody's comments. Nyla, my connector, I miss you. How's third grade? What's been your favorite thing about third grade? I heard that you and Zoe from Miss Spencer's class have become pretty close this year. Who else do I have? Leela. I think that's what I said. Hi, Kendall. If Bryce is not here, where's Bryson? Go get him. Tell Bryson I miss him. He has to watch me too. Unless he has other homework. I'm trying to find a video on here. Where am I? There I am. Okay. It's only from Miss Spencer's oh, class. Man, I it happened close again. This year. And I tried to get it down. Next time, I promise, guys, I'll have that figured out. Hi, Christian. Hi, great one. How are you? And where is Bryson? Oh, I did say it right. I was thinking, I was like, I think it's Leela. How are you guys? Tacos, yum. Mm -hmm. Tuesday night tacos. I want a taco. Sounds good. What, what else did you guys have? Oh, Ezekiel is in your class too, Zeke. Tell Zeke I said hi. I miss him too. He doesn't join me anymore, so I don't get to talk to him. But tell him I said hi. Don't forget, Nyla. Who else do we have? Who else do we have? My cousin Linda is watching. Hey, cuz. What's going on in Chicago? Hi, Mom. I'm going to wait a few more minutes. I'm excited about the book that I'm going to be reading to you guys tonight. Someone had McDonald's. That sounds good, too. I haven't had McDonald's in a long time. Mm, just thinking about it, I visualize myself tasting those fries. It makes my mouth water. It's okay. Nyla, what do you like the best about third grade? Hi, Zoe. I was just talking about you. I was saying that you and Nyla are in the same classroom this year. You had some orange chicken. That sounds good. I think you guys are making me hungry. Maybe I shouldn't have asked you guys that. I'm going to wait maybe another minute. Yes, and then I'll go ahead and get started. You still haven't told me what you like about third grade, Nyla. Zoe, what do you like about third grade? Hi, Max. You had Dairy Queen? I haven't had Dairy Queen for in a long time either. Did you have ice cream too? Or did you guys have burgers? What did you have from Burger King? Hey, Casey. My K-girl, just like me. So I am going to go ahead and get started. Great ones from this year. What were we talking about today and yesterday? I read you guys. What book did I read yesterday? I don't even remember. Oh, I read The Three Little Pigs. And any of you who have ever been in my class, I read it to you and I sang the song, Who's Afraid of the Big Bad Wolf? The Big Bad Wolf? The Big Bad Wolf? What's going to be our topic for tonight? Great ones from this year. What is going to be our topic? What did we talk about yesterday when I read The Three Little Pigs? And we also pulled it from the book, The Talking Eggs. All of my great ones, I've read that book to you guys. What are we going to be talking about? Hi, Janicia. Thank you for joining me. Hi, Ethan. How old is Ethan? Yes. Thank you, Kendall. Of course you will remember. On Beyond Zebra by Dr. Seuss. What were we talking about? What's going to be my topic? I want someone to tell me before I tell everybody else. What's the topic? Somebody tell me. Somebody tell me. I guess I'm going to have to say it. Hard work pays off. Yes, that's what we saw in the Three Little Pigs. But that is an example of 
Hayanaya. Theme. We're talking about theme. We've been talking about that in school, and we're going to talk about that tonight. Theme is the message that the author wants you to fill in your heart and think in your mind so that you can remember it and, and apply it to your life. Do it in your life. And the book that I'm going to read tonight is Perfectly Norman by Tom Percival. Look at Norman. What's going on with him in this picture? What's this? What do you guys think this is? We're going to be talking about theme. And throughout this book, I want you to be thinking about what is the author's message? What does the author want me to feel in my heart and think in my mind so that I can do it? Because um, I'm going to ask you to tell me at the end. We're also going to be using the pictures. Because you know when you use the pictures, you can get so much information. The illustrator works really, really hard to help tell the story that the author is writing about. Yeah, I see all of you guys are saying hard work pays off. Do you guys think this work, this book is going to be about hard work as well? Let's find out. Look at what he's doing here. Can any of you guys make a connection to flying a kite? Can any of you guys make a connection to having a dog? You guys know I have a dog, and his name is Robbie. Oh, wow. He lives in the city, and he's running around playing with his friends. I'm quite sure all of you guys can make a connection to living in the city, because you guys do. And I'm sure all of you guys can make a connection to running around and playing with your friends. Hi, Daisy. Let's see. Norman is sitting here eating some ice cream. He's out with his friends. Oh, I see some of you guys are talking about having a cat and a dog, so you're making text to self connections. Norman had always been normal, perfectly normal, until one day. Hmm, I wonder what's going to happen. He grew a pair of wings. Did any of you guys say that this on the cover was wings? Did any of you make that prediction? How does Norman look about growing these wings? Look at his face. Give me a word to describe how he looks. I think he looked shocked. I know I would be very shocked if all of a sudden I grew a pair of wings, but it might be cool though. Norman had imagined growing taller or growing a beard like his dad, but he had never imagined growing a pair of wings. Oh, I love the word baffled, surprised, afraid. Still, they were here now so he decided to test them out right away. I need some predictions. What do you predict or guess he's going to do? He's trying out his wings. What is he going to do? Soon, Norman was swooping around and generally having the most fun How would you feel if you grew wings and you were able to fly high up in the air and soar like a bird? Thumbs up if that would be a really, really good feeling for you. Thumbs down if you're like, no, I would be afraid to be up that high. I really don't want to go that high. I see a lot of you guys said fly, fly, spread his wings. Someone said fall. I think I missed the part. Let me go back. I did. So, so he's had the best fun ever. But then 
Whenever you see the word but, that means that something is changing. So right now he's having the most fun ever. I see the word but. His fun is going to stop. I wonder why. What's happening on this page, guys? Why isn't he having fun anymore? What's that say? He had to go in for dinner. You see, Norman had always been so normal, he didn't know how his parents would feel about his extraordinary wings. What is he doing here? What do you guys predict he's doing with this coat? Let's look back at this picture. He did not have a coat on in this picture. Why is he grabbing a coat? What do you predict he's going to do with it? As he went in, Norman covered himself up with a great big coat. Why is he covering himself up? Hmm. Why do these guys think mom and dad are looking at him like this? His parents didn't notice the wings, but they did think it was odd to be wearing a coat indoors. Odd. Give me another word for odd. Instead of saying, but they did think it was odd to be wearing a coat indoors. Give me another word. If any parents are watching, lots of times when the children have tests, they will be, there will be a question on the test that will say, Replace a word like instead of saying, but they did not think it, but they did think it was odd to be wearing a coat. But they did think it was strange to be wearing a coat indoors. But they did think it was weird to be wearing a coat indoors. And I see weird, weird, lots of you guys are saying that. Very good. Hi, Mr. Yerby. Bath time was problematic. Yeah, I can see why that's a problem. So was bedtime. Is he happy now, guys? Look at his face. I don't think he's happy. The coat was hot and uncomfortable, but Norman had decided that no one should see his wings ever. Oh, no. The wings are a part of him now. And he's ashamed of them. Would you be? I want you guys to visualize that you're Norman. And I want you to visualize that all of a sudden you grew wings. Or there was something that was special about you, but it was different than what others had. Would you hide it? Or would you share it with the world? What would you do? I can show you how it is. What should Norman be doing right now? He should be enjoying his time with his friends. Look at all of his friends. They're having a good time. I love his little doggy. His little doggy is staying right there with him with the friends are on the slide and they're jumping rope. Hi, Nolan. The next day, Norman went back, went to the park, but he was far too hot to play any of his favorite games. And so it went. What do you guys predict Norman is going to do? Do you predict that he's going to keep wearing this coat? Or do you think that he's going to change? Thumbs up if he's going to keep wearing the coat. Thumbs down if he's going to change. Hi, Valerie.
long car journeys were unbearable. The swimming pool was dreadful. Can you guys imagine swimming with this big, thick coat on? I can't. And that was nothing compared to his friend's birthday party. Look, you guys, I know. How many of you love bounce houses? And look at him sitting all alone with his doggy. Hi, Miss Lawrence. Hi, Alani. The only time Norman could feel normal now was when it rained. I feel sorry for Norman. I think I'd hate that too, Max. One day, a boy tried to pull his coat off. And Norman had to run away, hot-faced, angry, and sad. Oh, quite the road. But look, this dog is coming to the rescue. And if you look very carefully at the picture, what happened to the boy? I'm not going to tell you. You tell me. Use the picture. What made the boy go away? He wished he'd never grown those stupid wings. Oh, Norman's just sitting here feeling sorry for himself. And this little dog is feeling sorry for him too. I see you found it, Kendall. Hey, Anaya. Look at this picture. Norman is looking up at the birds. What do you guys predict he is either thinking or going to do? He's looking up at the birds. And of course, his faithful dog is looking up too. What is he going to do? Or what is he thinking about? Then he saw some birds high up in the sky and remembered the joy of his first flight. It occurred to Norman that it was the coat that was making him miserable, not the wings. So now that he realizes, he's like, oh man, I have a problem. And the problem that I have, it's not my wings, it's the coat. What's he gonna do now, guys? I already see Daisy said, take off the coat and fly. Nyla says he's gonna fly. Riley. This is like the book that we read when all the other kids were laughing at the kid who had no, no mouth. Yes, this is a, we're all wonders. You're right. This is like that book. And what happened at the end of that book, Riley? The first right here. What do you guys think his parents are saying to him? Dad has his hand up like this. Why don't you take that scruffy old thing off, suggested his mom and dad. Norman looked up at them hesitantly, hesitantly. Hmm, that's a difficult word. Wonder what does that mean? Norman looked up at them. Look at it, his face. Does he look like he's really excited? Like, or is he looking at them like really slow, like, hmm. I don't know. Norman looked up at them slowly. I think that works. He really didn't want to do it. His parents smiled and nodded. Norman smiled back. Those of you who said he was going to take it off, he took it off. Then he threw off the coat and let his wonderful wings fan out. And he's happy again. Norman leapt into the air. Finally, he was free of that coat. He's showing it not just to his parents. Look, other kids are seeing him too. 
And I hope you guys are not reading. The little girl and the little boy are looking up. The other ones are looking at each other. What might they be thinking? He noticed a few other children wear thick, heavy coats of their own. Well, yeah, they have on coats. They looked up at Norman and around at one another nervously. There was a moment's pause. And then... Do you guys want to see what's going to happen next? Whoosh! The sky was filled with flying people. Norman had never felt so happy. Wow, they all have wings just like him. Turns out he was not the only one. <clears throat> he realized that there was no such thing as perfectly normal, but he was perfectly Norman which was just as it should be. So, what was the theme of the book, guys? What was the theme of the book? I would like to see some of your answers before I say it, so I'm going to wait just a little bit, just a little bit. A song immediately pops in my head when I think of the theme of the book. I'm waiting for some of your answers. The theme of the book is Just do you Somebody's got to be a star Just do you Somebody's got to raise the bar Just do you Somebody's got to change the game Just do you today You gotta be you. Everybody has something in them that is great. All of us are different. We looked around our classroom. I think it was Monday or even last week, everyone looks different. And like I tell you guys all the time, you are great. And each of you has something that is very special inside of you. Even if it's a little bit different, don't hide it. It's something that you were given that you're supposed to share with the rest of us. So just do you. Do you and do it boldly. I hope you guys like that book. I see it's okay to be different. Do not make yourself be miserable. Be yourself. Don't hide your stuff. You think it was an amazing book? All right. So, you know what I have to do right now? Message that I always end with. I want you guys all to think of one thing that you are happy about. Students that have been in my classroom for the past three years, that is their morning work every day. Every day they have to come into the classroom and they have to write one thing that they're happy about so that if something bad happened on the bus, they can change their mind and they can be happy. I want you to also think of one thing that you did that you were proud of, not something that I did. Oh, I'm happy that I'm in this year because well, that can be happy that that's not proud of. What is something that you did that you were proud of? Write it down. You can write it down here. You can write it in a journal. You guys can see I told them it's reversed. Told you that I write. Here's one of the journals that I write in. Here's another one of my journals that I write in. I write things that I'm happy about every day. I write things that I did that I am proud of every day. And whenever I feel sad, I can open up that journal and read it. And that's why I want you to do it. So you have a thing that you're happy about, lock it in your head. And that thing that you did that you were proud of, lock it in your head. Did you lock it in your head? Inhale. Exhale. Smile. They're beautiful. Thank you so much for joining me. Do something tomorrow and the next day and every day to make somebody else smile. And then people will do things that will make you smile. I will see you guys next week. Bye.